you think of the way uh, Romney handled this obviously, as he says, tender and sensitive subject? Well, I, I think uh, that's the Mitt Romney I know, uh, as long as I've known him. Uh, he has, uh, he's a strong believer in a traditional family. That's his faith. That's his background. So I don't think it's something politically expedient that he's come to uh, for, for any particular reason. It's, it's who he is and what he believes. Uh, I do think that the president, uh, you know, an important marriage did happen today. The Barack Obama who didn't support gay marriage married the one who does. And we have one now. But I actually respect him for that. It is going to have some political cost for him, Wolf. Not Republicans, as we were saying earlier, because they're going to vote against him anyway. And not black evangelical voters who traditionally vote against uh, gay marriage here. But he's going to lose some Reagan Democrats, the cultural blue-collar Reagan Democrats in states like Ohio and North Carolina and Pennsylvania, important swing states uh, that... But he stood up for what he says he believed in, and I admire him for that. Here's another clip of the president speaking to ABC News. This is also generational. Um, you know, when I go to college campuses, sometimes I talk to college Republicans who think that uh, I have terrible policies on the economy or on foreign policy, but are very clear that when it comes to same-sex mm -hmm. equality or, or you know, uh, sexual orientation, that they believe in equality. Uh, they're much more comfortable with it. Um, you know, Malia and Sasha, they've got friends whose parents are same-sex couples. And I, you know, there have been times where Michelle and I have been sitting around the dinner table and we've been talking and, uh, about their friends and their parents. And Malia and Sasha, would, it wouldn't dawn on them that somehow their friend's parents would be treated differently. It doesn't make sense to them. And, and frankly, uh, that's the kind of thing that prompts uh, a change of perspective. As you know, Paul, there are plenty of pundits already saying this announcement by the president today will cost them not only, let's say, North Carolina, a state he carried four years ago, but maybe even Virginia and maybe even Ohio. Uh, and Alex makes the point, there could be a political price here, but he's speaking from conviction. And I think at the end of the day, voters admire that more. You're never going to agree with anybody on every issue, but now he has taken the position that is clearly in his heart. And I think people admire a conviction politician. And, and I think he can, he can stand proud on that. And I don't think it may, it may not hurt him as much as Alex suggests, well, because finally a politician at a time when everybody is using weasel words is standing up and saying, look, I'm for this. And you may not like it, and I respect you for that, but here's where I stand. I think it, even if you disagree with the president, and I think you do, obviously, uh, it took guts for him to do what he did. Well, on this particular issue, I actually don't disagree with the president. I, I'm on the president's side on this one and have been for, for quite a long time. I think, look, I think Republicans, uh, the president made the point that this is a generational issue. I feel younger now. Um, <laughs> because at the end of the day, I think Republicans can't be the party that says, look, big government's okay if it enforces our beliefs and our morals. No, we have to be the party that cuts that out. All right, guys, thanks very much. Uh, historic day. A lot of us will remember what uh, the President of the United States did on this day.